On an airplane's takeoff, the confined action of the air around the engines and wings of an airplane exerts an 8,000 newton force on the plane, directed upward at an angle of 65.0 degrees above the horizontal. The plane rises with constant velocity in the vertical direction, while continuing to accelerate in the horizontal direction. What is the weight of the plane? What is its horizontal acceleration? Uh, the um, <laughs> the force that's going down is gravi gravitational force, and the force that is going up is normal force. The force that's acting on the to the left of the plane is friction force, and the force that is acting to the right is the FAX. The plane has 8,000 newtons of applied force acting on it at a 65 degree angle. Also, the plane has an FAY that is going also in the normal force direction. So, our knowns are 8,000 newtons in the X direction or the force applied, and our theta is 65 degrees. There is no acceleration in the Y direction, and there is an acceleration in the X, which we will find later. So the first question we have to answer is what is the weight of the plane? Since FAY equals FG, the equation would be FAY equals FA cosine of theta, which equals 8,000 cosine of 65, and we determined that the answer was 3,380.9 newtons. What is its horizontal acceleration? In the X direction, the sum of all forces equals 8,000 newtons cosine of 65.0, which is equal to mass times acceleration in the X direction, which is equal to the weight of the plane divided by the gravity times the acceleration in the X. Then we switch the equation around and we ended up getting a X, the acceleration in the X is equal to 8,000 newtons cosine of 65.0 times 9.8 divided by 7,250 newtons, which is FAX, um, which is 8,000 sine 65, if you want to know how we got that. And the answer is acceleration is equal to 4.57 meters per second squared.